Thank you so much for joining me for today's tutorial. Today is going to be a little bit different. It's still going to be focused on design, but the main concept is what well, this video is catered to people who package their own orders and send them directly to their customers. Everyone loves to receive goodies um, in their orders. So this is a great way to add something extra for very little cost, um, especially if you are using something like a Cricut because you probably already have the materials. If anything, you'll probably only need to purchase um, sticker paper. So for this particular tutorial, it's going to be focused on stickers that you can include in your orders. So to get started, for this particular design, we're just going to use the 2000 by 2000 pixels. Then I'm just going to type in stickers. And I'm going to click on illustration stickers. And let's see. Just going to keep scrolling until I see the one that I want. Okay, so I was looking for one in particular. For some reason, I could not find it. But So I typed in crystal ball because it's the one that I was looking for. So I'm just going to double click that. And I'm going to change this to the future. Your future depends on today. So I would recommend that whatever text you decide to put on your stickers, that it be relevant to your brand. So say this brand was like motivational or inspirational, positive vibes. I think this would be a good sticker to include because more than likely the person will probably put the sticker on their laptop or I don't know people put stickers on their cars and stuff like that so that way it will always be in front of them you can even put your brand name if you like but just to give them something extra and you know put your brand in front of them all the time it will be a constant reminder so for this bottom half I'm just going to tighten up the bottom half of it just a little bit more. So I'm going to click, I clicked on the three dots, clicked on effects, and then right now it said negative 97. I'm going to bring it to 100. So it's more curved since this has three words and this has two. And the words on the top is a little bit shorter too. So I'm going to do that. So then the next thing to do is to download it. And the reason why we're downloading it is because in order to add the outline effect, it has to be a picture first in Canva. So I have noticed with stickers that are trending right now, a lot of them have outlines in it. So at first, I could not figure out how to create an outline. Um, so I, I was using my Procreate, the Procreate app in order to create an outline around stickers. But now there's a workaround for it and here it is. So like I said, we want to download it in a PNG, choose transparent background, and then I'm just going to select the page that I want to download, which is the last page. So the purpose of doing transparent background is so this pink will not show when it's downloaded. So then we just click download. 
and it will show up transparent no it's no pink background this is a blank background so I have already uploaded this um design so what I'm going to do is keep this peach color I'm going to click on my uploads Oops, See. I'm just going to add that to this design. So now this is a picture. I'm just kind of making sure that it's centered. So now I'm going to click on edit image shadows if you haven't already you have to basically download these um i guess add-ons is completely free um so i believe it's free if you have a pro account i'm not sure if it's i'm not sure about the free account but for this video we're going to use it. You have to download it first. And it's nothing to download to your computer. You just add it on. It's like an add-on. Anywho, I'm going to click on Shadows. Then I'm going to click on Glow. All right. After you click on Glow, you want to click on it again. So that you can edit the settings. So I'm going to choose a white background instead of black. And then I'm going to change the transparency to 100% because I don't want it to be transparent. Then I'm going to increase the size all the way to 40. And click apply. And it resized it. I'm not sure why, but that's totally fine. I'm actually going to do that again. Same steps. Glow. I'm going to click on it twice, change this color to white, change the transparency, and change the size. And the reason why I did it twice is because I want to fill in this area right here between the words and the picture or the drawing. So let's see. All right. Mm. Think back to five. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to click apply, and that is done now. I'm just going to resize it again. Make sure that it's centered. And like I said, if you pay attention to most of the stickers, they do have this outline. Um, so this is an easy way to create that. And then you just click on download. And then Select the page that you want to download. And we do want to click transparent background because I don't want this pink to show, but I, the white will still show. So now we're going to download it. And that is it. It's pretty simple. At this point, you know, you could just add it to your design space for Cricut or any other um, cutting machine silhouette. I think it's, I can't think of any other names, but they have them. Whichever one you use, you can upload this particular design and it should um, cut around the outline. And this will be a perfect add on to your orders. I'm sure your customers will appreciate it. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and 
please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you do not or you want to try the um, Pro Canva Pro, we have a li link in the description box. And you can just click that and you will get 30 days for free. So thank you again and y'all have a good one.